Hey, Cappies. Welcome to my hotel room. We are traveling, visiting New Orleans, taking some cemetery tours, some vampire tours, eating beignets, getting to know some witches and priestesses, high priestesses. I didn't come here for the party, although it is nice to have a Bloody Mary walking down Bourbon Street. I came here for um, the experience, the understanding of a place that seems to have so many similarities with my mm, history of selves. Truth is, I came here to see if I wanted to live here. If because it, it's always been an itch. It's always been something I that was important for me to explore. And being here, I know I don't want to live here. Because even though it's who I am, it's also not. There's also a continuance aspect of who I am that wants to play out freely now without being forced back to its old self by being constantly around the energy of its old self. If that makes any sense. The Knight of Swords here is telling you to be on the move, to be on the go and fast. It's telling you, don't be tempted and lured by everything that is you. And by doing so, missing the opportunity of now in March. Completely, completely changing your life. The moon, death card, justice, and five of cups. And transitioning into a whole other layer of self. And it's been in the making, you know. Sometimes you go back somewhere just to say goodbye. Seemingly, it's the first time I'm here, but I know I came here to say goodbye. I mean, I didn't know it, know it, but I felt it. You know, something in me felt it. I wasn't sure, but being here, as much as I enjoy immensely and feel so morbidly comfortable with the chaotic swirling energies here, if you're only surface level exper experiencing life, which you're probably not because you're here, but in, in this channel and on YouTube, um, but if you are, you come here and it's just a celebration and it's exotic and it's fun and it's interesting. You don't sense the multi layers of magic, of darkness, of light, and of everything, really. Hold on. Thank you for those of you who said bless you. <clears throat> so as much as I'm comfortable with these, um, in these chaotic integrated energies, it's like, and it's all in one. It's like a lot of different ingredient in the same bowl. I'm saying morbidly comfortable because this is not an energy everyone should feel comfortable in it's 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 a lot <clears throat> the fact that i feel comfortable in it is telling certain things um 
when it comes to the journey of my soul. And why am I telling you all of this? I'm not just here to use you as my as my therapist. No, it, it, everything connects to the readings that I do, right? The cards are even speaking it for you. There's a realm that is you and a realm that you've been living in that is morbidly comfortable for you, even though it's not comfortable for most. And it's almost like something you're proud of. It is something to be proud of. It's, it's telling that you're able to be comfortable in certain environments. That's easy for you. But the thing is, Pluto now being in the 29th degree of Capricorn. It's the finish line of a very <laughs> intense energy and journey of transformation. The moon, death, justice. I mean, it's it's... This ending is borderline violent. It's confusing because you don't want to let go of something you're so used to. It scares you because maybe you're not as adept to shifting as I am. But you don't have a choice, Cappy. This is an energy that if you don't surrender to it will drown you the moon the death card justice it's it's if you resist this transition this change if you think to yourself oh but i'm so comfortable here maybe i should stay and it could be a place it could be a person it could be a job any really anything a mindset a sense of self uh, a belief system really Anything, whatever, however it plays out for you. It could be several things because it's so intense. It could be several of those things. It could be all of it. If you hold on to it now, spirit will drag you kicking and screaming to the next phase of the self. You won't shed the skin. Spirit will tear it off you. It's, it's as brutal as it's, as I make it sound. I'm not saying this to scare you. First of all, it's completely unnecessary. And un, not, it's not a premonition by any way, shape, or form. It's, it's an absolute you know, cause and effect to what you decide and how you approach this. It does not have to happen at all. It's, it's likely not to happen unless you hold on. And you say to Ma'at, who sits at her throne of justice, no, 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 I don't want to pass your test. I don't want to weigh the weight of my heart in front of a feather to see if I can move on to the next step. I don't want to do that. And she, and she's like, excuse me, I wasn't asking. <laughs> and death here, it's like, it comes knocking. And I'm not talking about literal physical death. Knock on wood, you're still healthy and vibrant and wonderfully alive. I'm talking about the symbolic death, letting go of the past completely and stepping into a zone that is very foreign to you. And I see with the Knight of Swords here and the Five of Cups that you might be putting on resistance. And I'm telling you, I'm asking you for your well-being. Let God, Goddess, source, anima mundi, universe, whatever, however you want to, your own higher self, let it show you, you are not stronger than Pluto, you are not stronger than Ma'at, you are not stronger than your soul who wants to go through this journey. On the 21st of March or the 23rd, with the new moon in Aries, that's when Pluto moves into the zero degree of Aquarius. Now, it will uh, return back to, to your sign a little bit before it completely transitions to Aquarius. But the fact that it already dips its toes in Aquarius, that it already made that transition, it means the hard part is over and then every time it dips back to capricorn it will be like you going back to say goodbye you know like me here i mean i don't really know maybe maybe one day i'll come live here but not at this time not when i still have 
the next journey to go through, right? And you do too. <laughs> but here's the thing. This is one of those things that I don't see a way back from. Justice and death. These are cards way more dramatic than the tower card, for example. Even though the tower gets a rep for being the most dramatic. There is no going back from justice and death. Once justice lays down its sword with a decision, once the death card transitions from one thing to another, these are cards that you, they're, it's like you make that transition and the veil just goes down and it's like it never existed. Now, the moon card here says the veil will be see-through for the times where um, Pluto will regress back into Capricorn in the next few months. But even if you'll step back with it, you know, it, it, there will there will be this see-through suit. You will never actually touch the ground from which you that which you are leaving. There will be this glass wall. You can look and you can almost touch, but you can't. So if you don't want this to drive you mad in the next few months, just understand this now. Whatever you're parting ways with, you are parting ways with. You have already. It's just now the... This is a wonderful change. Pluto has been very intense for you for the past 14 years, like really intense. So you'll feel lighter on the other side of it, but right now you're just like, you're trying to fight it. Cappy, don't worry, be happy. Emperor, I know you're strong. I know you understand life. I know you've got things under control, but once again, it is within the realm of mortality. The forces that you're dealing with right now are not within the realm of mortality. They are superior to you. And if you can't accept that, that's not strength. That's vanity and honestly a form of stupidity. I'm not saying you're vain and stupid. No, I know how smart and bright you are. I'm saying thinking that is a form of vanity and stupidity because you are not stronger. Again, you are not stronger than these planets. And then he'll tell me, no, it's vain to think that these planets have any form of effect on us humans. I mean, we're not that important. No, we're not that important. It's, they don't affect us because we're important. They don't affect us necessarily for us. They're just forces of existence that we are bound to, just like if a strong brush of wind comes through, the ant will fly because it's just way smaller than it. It's not because the ant is so important that the wind comes and flies it away. It's just the wind does what it does and the ant is affected by it. We are affected by planetary movements. I feel like I'm almost talking to newbie muggles or people with doubts who come and be like trying to... Some, some, some maybe out there try to like find where it makes no sense what I'm doing here, right? Um, okay. For the sake of education, you thinking, for those of you that that's the case, you thinking that these things have no power or effect over you, I'm sorry, but you're not stronger than the ocean, and the ocean is absolutely ruled by the moon. And earth is absolutely ruled by the sun. It doesn't have life without the sun.
frequencies affect us. Planetary movements affect us. Be it because we're important to God and God utilizes them to help transform our lives, maybe, or maybe because we're just we're just hap we're just around, so we're affected by these forces, these divine forces. Divine because they're big and far away, so we make them out to be divine. But you know, they are a part of our existence just as much as we are. But it's like a human to an ant, a planet to a human. It's like some things are bigger than us, and some things are smaller than us. And and humility is accepting it as opposed to the opposite. So yes, here you are, the emperor. But in space, you are not. And you need to understand the forces that you're dealing with. I have four very powerful, very intense major arcanas here on the table. And then the minor arcana, the knight of swords and the five of cups, it's like you trying to fight these forces. And it's like, it's honestly, it's almost funny. I'm sorry. But I'm trying to spare you a whole lot of pain and misery by resisting this. Two of Pentacles. Okay. I've reached you. Now there's a conversation. I felt so much resistance up until now in this reading. And again, maybe there are a lot of like new energies around that are seeking. Hello, new seekers. You are very welcome. That's the point of my work, you know. Um, however, I can do the tough love. Um, and I, I don't let bullshit pass. So if I feel sarcasm, again, if you're not in that realm, you're just stick around while I... <laughs> while I talk to those who do, right? But for those who do, you know, sometimes the only way to break a wall is by breaking a wall. And sometimes, sometimes you need to, to hear what you need to hear, you know, you need to be told what you need to be told. And apparently this tough love has helped a little bit because now I feel far less resistance from the energies that I picked up on resistance from, or even mockery. You're like, okay, okay. Yeah, the moon does control the tides and female, you know, cycle. Yeah, we are... We do move with the planets. Our soul is infinite, but this suit is not. Okay, so what are you supposed to do? Let things be. I know it's something, telling that to a Capricorn, it's like, <laughs> did you just say let it be? I can't let it be. I gotta make it be. I love that about you. You're a go-getter. You make things happen. Or replay the conversation until now. I don't want to reiterate. Sometimes we have to surrender to the current in order to survive and not drown. And then the current will bring us to safety. Let's see what's on the other side of the door. Door number one was resisting everything I say. And those people are already, they, they clicked out. Door number two, you stuck around. Okay. Two of Wands, a journey, an exploration, an adventure, a study of a new world with a sense of excitement instead of resistance. Maybe I will let this go. Maybe I'll just travel. Maybe I'll just go there. I always wanted to do this. I always wanted to try that. Maybe this is a good opportunity. Maybe. Oh, too many cards. But let's take these two. Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. Okay, but what about money? Do I have enough money for that? Or what about my partner? Will they let me? Will they accept it? Or what about the debt that I have? Can I handle that? What about, what about, what about? I get it. There are stuff. I'm picking up... Um, hmm. 
<laughs> bribe what? Uh, bribe the guard at the gate. <laughs> it's it, whatever you're worried about. It's not something you can not you know deal with. There's a solution. King of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles. There is enough money. There is enough income. If you're like, no, you don't understand. I don't. It's coming. Results of your work are coming or someone that will want to invest in you is coming or a great job is coming. This is a new start that is very stable, very grounded, but in a more like connected to who you are coming going forward way. Maybe there has been an investment of some sort that is about to pay off. I don't know if you invested in a stock and suddenly it, it grows or I don't know, something maybe you're being offered partnership I'm getting for some of you. It's going to be a sudden increase of resources. Ah, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Well, we have a couple here. But the King is in the upright and the Queen is in the reverse. There's a feminine in this story. There's something wrong. She's not... Now, I don't know if you're a male or female, which if you're the King or the Queen in the story, but the Queen, and you place yourself in the, in the narrative, is either not feeling well, or she has some sort of financial fear or difficulty. She's caught in something troublesome that she feels like there's no way out of. It's like a loop. But I feel like this king has a desire to help this queen or to be there for her. I don't know if this is an existing relationship in your life, if it's a new one, if it's an old one. I don't know. It's hard to say. For some of you, I am picking up of a new relationship between two people or or um, a perfect match, right? King and queen of the same element of pentacles in this case uh, with the ace of pentacles. So there's something very strong, very that can go a long way. But something with the queen... I don't know if it's hormonal imbalance or she's going through something very difficult in her life, regardless of hormonal imbalance. Um, there could be a debt, a financial debt that she's bound to. Why is it coming through? What can I tell Kathy about this? Why is she in the reverse? What's going on? King of Swords. There's someone, there's someone in her life that has caused her a great distress or is causing her a great distress. Um, they're very manipulative and controlling. I just have five of swords here and the devil at the bottom of the deck, and it's like all kinds of cards that show. Um Someone that is trying to block her some, somehow. It could be in a legal manner. It could be in a mental manner. I think this King of Pentacles is for this Queen of Pentacles. And the King of Swords is like someone. Could be an ex-partner. Um, or could be a family member. Or it could be someone in her life that is like that has a negative hold on them. Okay. Anything else for Cappy to know about this for March, please? Sun, moon, rising, south node, stallion. If you simply resonate with the narrative, uh, too many cards.
Five of Pentacles. This is someone that has drained her. Um, this could have been a marriage or a relationship. There's some financial distraught here. Um, or loss or even a taking. I never have to blow my nose. It's crazy. I don't know what's going on. I think it's the chloride in the water here. I'm pretty certain that that's what it is. I don't drink those water. I, I buy clean water, but um, the shower, the water here really smells like strong chloride. So I think that's what it is. I really don't like any of those. Like my body does not respond well to uh, toxins. Well, duh. You don't say, Morgan, your body doesn't respond well to toxins. Wow, you're so special. <laughs> anyway, there's, um, there's a financial difficulty, a debt, uh, a sense of deprivation, loss. Um, I don't know if someone has taken it from her or cheated something out of her, um, had her sign something. Be very cautious if this is going forward and not happened yet. Don't be, don't let yourself be deceived by someone that you feel like Something is wrong there, and they're trying to press the buttons that they know you're sensitive to to convince you to do something that might, might, uh, don't invest in things that you can't invest in. Don't sign anything from coercion, you know. Um, Someone does Okay, this is too much. I'm stuck on this energy, and I feel like it could be something very specific, so there's no point. Let's finalize this reading, please, for Cappy. For Capricorn, let's focus. of cups there's some sort of a family situation that is very very toxic there's theft there's um taken advantage there's um, a level of abuse of power but emotional one like someone has a hold on someone um i don't know if they have a hold on you or if if you're a cross watcher and dealing with a capricorn that has a hold on you or you have a hold on someone in a not so good way i don't know but anything to do with control, you have to. If you're holding on to control, it's going to lead you to a very bad place. Let go. Don't try to control someone. Don't try to control a situation. If someone wants to leave, let them leave. If someone wants to go, let them go. If something wants to end, let it end. For those of you who practice uh, spell work, hi cuties, um, don't do any specific love spells. Not everybody knows this, but it should be common knowledge. Love spells that are specific to a person that mention a person's name are some of the darkest type forms of magic out there. Any form of magic that meddles with someone's free will, let alone heart and love, is dark. It creates a very terrible karma. It's not from love, it's from control. If you have an ex and they left because they don't want to be with you, get them back through magic is wrong. Okay? I'm, it's not. It doesn't negate the fact that it might be very hurtful and that you get to be sad, you know? That you get to have your broken heart cared for. Of course you deserve that. But you can't force someone to be with you when they don't want to. 
not physically, not energetically. You wouldn't tie them up to the bedroom, right? <laughs> so you can't tie them up energetically. It's wrong. And it tends to come back so many, so many times more fold. So honestly, this could be a result of someone who practiced a lot of dark magic of, from a place of control, and now they're um, experiencing the backlash of the karma, right? Um, if you feel like it's you, it doesn't have to be you at all, but if you think that this is your story, um, repent, ask for forgiveness, give to charity, um, be extra respectful to people's free will, um, express that you've learned, accept whatever is happening with grace and understanding that it's the, co the cosmic relationship of cause and effect. It's the hermetic laws and it's some, it is what it is. And you can only, um, reduce the difficulty by approaching it different, differently by having grace and by, um, asking for forgiveness. That's all. Sometimes you just got to sail through a situation. But again, again it, it's just for those of you that feel like, oh, I think it, it's me and I did that. And, that. And, so, and, and, and also, a lot of people do that, you know, they do it out of pain. It's not like necessarily with ill intent or I want to be a, I want to practice dark magic. It's, it's, it's more, it's innocent. It's more, it's from a place of mistake, you know. So you live, you learn. Don't do it again. Um... And don't don't fall prey to people who talk a big game and just want to keep you around. You could be the one on the other side of someone like that that just wants to have a hold on you, you know? Uh, this could also be this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. could be someone that has, like if you're a male figure and you're dealing with a female figure, um, this could be someone that has... terrible issue with control and they just want to keep you around and maybe they're acting like the victim or they act needy or they um you know blame and shame and uh, coerce so you need to be cautious with that make sure that they're not just playing the role of someone in need you know just to get your um take advantage of your good nature and good heart okay and keep you stuck Okay, powerful reading as always for you guys. Seven days free trial over on Patreon. Karmic Shift and Liberation is there. Tarot Masterclass Bunka is there. Daily messages from the runes are there. It'd be crazy not to try. Uh, seven days free trial. Um, if you wish to purchase this reading in retrospect, thank you. My suggested donation is $7.77. However, it could be any sum you desire, if you desire. Links to how to do so are below. Um, stay magic. Stay true. I love you.